Okay, I told you guys that I would kind of keep you updated on the on the trailer here as we've used it and we've been using it. Um, I'm going to go over a couple of things that we did to, as we used it that we found need to be done. Okay, so one of the things we did was we have a ladder on board now that we keep right here. This is where the winch position would be. We're going to put our winch on up there. but So I put a ladder in here and secured it because once you get up here, even though this is low profile, you start putting the you know, the, the tie downs on the tires and it does get a little hard to get to the top of the tire sometimes. I'm six feet. I still struggle to get to the top of the tire. Sometimes I pull that out, especially if it's a like a pickup truck with big tires. I also, I keep one chain with a hook on it and if I get, you know, three cars or whatever, flip outs, four cars or something on one of these. I always put this on just on the last car as a sort of a precautionary measure, just a last ditch effort thing. Another thing that we did back here is if you notice when we showed the pictures originally, the video, it had the ramps here and they were chained on right here. Well, let me tell you, what happens is this thing is so low in the back that back here, if I mean any incline at all, these things just scrape like hell on something. And so you can see right there where it kind of it kind of bent it up. So the ramps were having a hard time coming in out. Plus, if it's raining outside and you're over here and you're struggling to get the lock off of here, get the chain out through, then you got to push it back a little bit by hand before you can grab it. You know, then you got to go back here and, and grab it and slide it out and hook it on, right? And then lather, rinse, and repeat the same thing on this side. So, and you can see this side's bent as well. So now what we did. And you can actually order these trailers like this, um, but what we did was we remounted them on the side. So if you order one of these, rem we remounted on the side. We just made our own brackets here and uh, bolted it all together, put our chain lock there so nobody can get them, and we put both on one side. Now, a lot of times when you see these, there's one on one side and one on the other, but it really, it, it kind of helps, I know, to have them on one side because you come back, you get one, you put it back there, you walk straight back up, you put the other one, you put it back there. Especially if you've got your box on there with your tie downs. So you grab your tie downs, you start laying your tie downs out, you grab a ramp, you put it on, other ramp, put it on and go around the other side, start laying your tie downs out on the other side. So that's kind of what we do. It, it does make it a little bit more efficient. Having them both on one side. Otherwise you put one down, you gotta go back around the other side, put the other one down, come back, get your tie downs and things like that. Now, in, in doing that, of course we bring them onto the back and we set them down here. I want to show you something else we did this thing has a tag location right here below this and as you can imagine if that's hitting the tags hitting it, it bends the tag and bends the tag until they finally break off so we moved it from there to the second location here now when you're driving behind it in a car you know even if you come way back here even to get down car level you can still easily see it no problem now we haven't moved the light yet because the light is right here but when we get in from this trip, the guy is going to take and move the light up there so it shines on the tag. Now we did add the, the metal tag surround to it all as well so that wind coming underneath there wouldn't cause it to bend or anything either. But that's a better tag position than under here. Under here, every time you go anywhere, you go up an incline or anything, it just bends the tag up. And it, then it's, it's almost invisible. And if it bends it enough, it actually will begin to break around the holes and it'll pull it right off. And next thing you're driving, you think you got a tag and you're not driving. But overall, we've been very satisfied with this trailer. It really pulls well. It tracks real well. Um, three cars is no problem. We found that the thing weighs in at about 5,190 pounds, um, just like it sits with ramps and all. Now, the next thing we're going to do is we're actually going to go through and we're going to remove all this. And there's probably... There's probably 70, maybe 80 pounds or more worth of metal down there. We're going to cut all that out of it because we just don't need it. And we don't need this to drag constantly. And that's what they do. They just drag and drag. So we're going to cut them off and then we're going to mount a wheel over here and a wheel over there. The hard plastic, you know, hard plastic wheel. So that when you go up something, the wheel will grab it instead of hitting the bottom of the trailer. Overall, the lights have been working real well. Uh, we haven't lost any lighting on it since we've been using it. Um... These ramps here, which I was talking about in the last video, I was saying I was worried about them being when they got wet, that it would get slick, this surface would get slick. Now, they have them, you can get them with the, you know, with the tread pattern on, this, on there too, but with these on here, 
it seems to do all right. We haven't had a car skid or, or slip or anything just coming right up it. I guess because the angle is not very bad. And then, of course, we actually added this tread tape. Uh, this helps a lot, especially at night, because of the yellow stripes on it. When you get out at night, you can really, you know, if it's dark in the area you're loading or unloading, you can really see these yellow stripes. And if you get your headlamp on, on your head or something, you can really see them. And it, and it helps because it's, you know, it's also it's grip too. So if it's raining, you don't have to worry about your feet being out here and slipping rather than being on here like the car tires do. They, they touch these and not slip. Again, though, overall, pretty good time so far. We haven't had any problems. Um, we are getting a, a lower connection there on the fifth wheel. We're going to lower that down to level it out a little bit. Right now, it does sit a little bit higher in the front end, but once you get three cars on there, it, it drops down. It's pretty level, but we have actually ordered a new fifth wheel mount that's lower than that one, so it'll actually work a little bit better. And with the Lamar you saw before, we also can use that one plus our other trailers. There are some of them that are full wedges, and the full wedge, when you put it on this one, it is it is too high. It's, it's about five or six inches too high, so that's going to take care of that. But the trailer itself has performed very well. Pulls well, turns. I think because where the wheels are in relation to the back wheels of the trailer, I mean the truck, it turns real well too. So that's it for now. We'll bring you up to date. Uh, we've got some other things planned for it that we'll kind of keep you in touch with. Um, and we'll, we'll re-weigh it once we get all this metal off of it. We'll re-weigh it and see how much it weighs then. Talk at you later. Thanks for watching.